Please write down. I would urge you because you are just beginning today, keep a separate register. Write all the class notes in that register so that you never have to look back at the recording and don't have to waste the time. Make sure that whatever recorded solved questions I'm giving, you do those with me. Make sure that whatever assignment I am giving you, you do, do those also in the same register. Maintain one complete register only for statistics. So let's begin with introduction to statistics. So what is statistics all about? See, to begin with, the most basic definition of statistics says that statistics is the science of counting. Whenever we have to do any kind of averaging, that's another definition, or any kind of counting, like how many people in the class, if I have to analyze that, what is the average amount of time I spend on running per day, if I have to analyze that, then I will use the branch of science, which is called statistics. So statistics is called the science of most of the time, all the day-to-day -day assumptions that we have, the decisions that we have to make, they are actually based on statistics. Let me go ahead and give you an example. Just assume that you have in your neighbor two people living. And I now go ahead and tell you that, look, these two people, they vary in their maybe height or maybe, you know, the length of the hair. So I tell you that one person length of the hair is, let's say, 10 centimeter. And the other person's length of hair is, let's say, 24 centimeter. And I ask you to go ahead and uh, guess the gender of the person. What will you tell me? You will tell me that, okay, maybe the person who has longer hair is female and that who has shorter hair is male. And you are not going ahead and giving a random guess. You are going ahead and doing that on the basis of what happens to the average population. You notice that on an average, women have longer hair than men. And that is the reason you are going ahead and making this guess. Similarly, if I tell you that one person is six feet and the other is five feet, you will again take the average of people living in India maybe and you will tell me that on an average, men in India are taller than women. So therefore, it may be the case that the taller person is men and the shorter is women. So whenever we have to go ahead and make any guesses, these guesses are actually a result of the averages that we use. Of course, it's based on our experience, but that experience itself comes from average, right? So basically, from here, I come to the next definition of statistics, that it is the study of averages. On an average, whatever happens, that is what statistics is interested in understanding. So we may go ahead and say that statistics can be rightly called 
as the signs of averages. Let us write down few examples of how uh, the averages are usually written in uh, statistics. So, for example, if I go ahead and write I run on an average 30 kilometer per week. Then I am talking about the average kilometers I cover. Sometimes I may end up running 24. Sometimes I may end up running 36. But the average that I'm talking about, that is 30, right? So week one plus week two till week n, if I divide this by n, on an average, I run 30 kilometer per week. Let's take another example. For example, I tell you that June to September is expected to be monsoon season. Again, when I say that something is expected to be something, I am talking about my experience, which comes from what happened in the past on an average. So I may have observed that on an average in India, June to September is always seen as monsoon season. So I go ahead and use this term, expected to be monsoon season, based on the averages that I have seen. Let's take another example. Let's say the earlier you start preparing, the more likely you clear the entrance. Notice that here when I use the term the more likely, there are two things coming into picture. I am saying that one, I am being probabilistic. I am bringing into picture the probabilities. That there is a higher probability that you will clear the exam if you start your preparation early. And also, I am bringing my experience of the averages. Because if I am making this statement, it may be based on my experience about what has been the result on an average with the earlier students. So statistics is always about the study of the averages. What happened in the past on an average? Based on that, I may want to go ahead and I may want to declare something in the future based on my experience of the averages. So, you know, most of the times we notice that there may be some pattern, some differences, some common things, and we may want to go ahead and we may want to quantify them. Like, for example, how often do you see that two things are similar to each other or two things are different from each other? And whenever we want to go ahead and quantify these things, that is where we are going to go ahead and make use of statistics. So based on this, we can say that there are two chief concerns related to statistics.